Hello everybody and welcome to another retro review. This is a Philips D8078 stereo cassette recorder from around 1987. And I saw this on eBay. It was going for only £40 and it was only £4 something posted in packaging. So I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And it said um, on the description, tested and working. Obviously signs of marks maybe here and there with age, as you would expect. And when it arrived, I was surprised to find what a nice little neat thing this is. You've got one speaker there on the left, and then the other speaker um, is on the right-hand side. And then you have got your twin decks. Um, the right deck is for recording and playback, and then the left deck is playback only. And then on the top of the unit, we've got our switches. Those are the transport mechanism buttons along there. Um, on the playback deck, you have got pause, uh, play, fast forward, uh, rewind, a thing called AB. And I didn't know what that was, but I think I figured out what it is. It's for continuous play which means that what you can actually do is put two tapes in there and you press obviously play on, you press the continue, not the play button, but you press the continuous button there and hit the play button on the other deck. And once one deck is finished playing, the other one will kick in. And then finally, you've got your stop eject button. Actually that the, the um, it opens quite quick, that one. Um, it's not got soft eject, so you have to kind of nearly uh, be careful sometimes with those. But um, anyway, moving on to the right-hand side deck, you've got your pause control there. Um, you've got play, fast forward, rewind. You've got record, and stop eject. And then behind that, there are some other function switches. Um, there's one behind the other. You've got your, um, one of them is for, the one on the bottom is for volume. And the one above that is your tone control. So I don't know if I can, I'm obviously with being blind I can't see very well what I'm doing but yep those are behind each other little switches there moving on beside that you have got a function switch which takes you uh, between tape and AM and FM so it's a three-way switch that and then beside that there's another switch and that is it, you if you're playing a radio station um such as FM you can switch that from mono to stereo and if it's an AM mode you can switch it to medium wave using that switch as well and then finally we've got our dial control there big knob for changing um the stations you know, so not much else to see except on the left hand side you've got a a headphone jack there, just a three point five inches jack, and then on the back is where your batteries go in and your your mains figure of eight um lead um goes on there, and uh that's really all friends um that's available a very very 
a basic machine indeed but very nice and i will be back later on with a playback and recording test hello folks well welcome back once again um i have now got um the cassette tape handy and i did record a little bit of music from the audio youtube library so as to avoid any um copyright matches hopefully and what i will do is i will test this out and see how she plays So as I say, that one at the bottom there is for volume. A little bit of crackling on there, but it's not too bad. You've got your tone control, which is fully up at the moment. That's it fully down. And that's it back up again. got pause hit the wrong one there stop is at that still getting used to using this stop is there you've got your fast forward oh that's rewind actually fast forward is that one stop and rewind i don't know if that's the tape or if the belts are but maybe loose or something but sometimes that some of those tapes can be a bit tight um but it seems to work okay and it plays um so there you go folks um uh what we will do is now do a recording test here first of all using the belt and microphone let the later tape go by So this is a test recording on the Philips uh, D8078, a stereo radio cassette recorder. And the microphone, I forgot to say, is actually on the uh, left-hand side of the, uh, of the corner of the left deck, just before the left speaker, and it's not on the top exactly but it's on the front of the unit just above the tip door there so if i lean forward um i'm now speaking more or less directly into the microphone and then i'm now moving away again and focusing the camera again hopefully on the uh, recorder so what we'll do now is we'll pause this and we'll try recording from tip to tip. Okay, I think that should be enough of that. Let's pause, pause it there and stop the tape. And we'll now turn on the radio and see if we can, what we can get. An instant wide group 
for friends. <laughs> There's some talking, so on pause that. Uh, if you want to go into the, the top elite end of ringing, then it does help to have a bit more stamina, but not really. So I mean, we're now recording, easy, obviously, from FM on to cassette. The ringing room in a lot of places. And you need to be able to put your arms above your head and, and pull on a rope. So we'll pause that now, I think. Weights and sizes, so yeah, you can have little bells. And then we'll switch over to... Or, or strong. It's, it's about... I think that's AM, I'm not sure. Um... John, thank you very much. I can't remember which is FM, AM and medium wave, I think that may be AM. And then we'll switch that switch which operates as a stereo switch while on FM. There is an aerial on this as well, a telescopic aerial, but there's not really, there's not much actually on that one, so that could be medium wave. And then of course the, your top telescopic aerial um, is there, and that goes up like that and it can extend obviously. And then you fold it down like that there, and it clicks into place. And that concludes my test recording um, of this uh, Philips Boombox double cassette recorder. And um, this does not actually feature, as far as I'm aware, um, high-speed dubbing. Um, but anyway, I hope that you um, enjoyed this uh, short review and test. And I will switch off now and play back and see what it sounds like. So this is a test recording on the Philips uh, D8 1078 a stereo radio cassette recorder and the microphone I forgot to say is actually on the uh, left hand side of the uh, of the corner of the left deck just before the left speaker and it's not on the top exactly but it's on the front of the unit just above the tip door there so if I lean forward, um, I'm now speaking more or less directly into the microphone and then I'm now moving away again and focusing the camera again hopefully on the uh, recorder. So what we'll do now is we'll pause this and we'll try recording from tip to tip. a lot of stamina for it uh if you want to go into the the top elite end of ringing then it does help to have a bit more stamina but not really i mean you need to be able to climb a spiral staircase uh to get to the ringing room in a lot of places and you need to be able to put your arms above your head and, and pull on a rope but it's it's not bells are different weights and sizes so and that concludes my test recording um of this uh, Philips Boombox double cassette recorder 
and um, this does not actually feature, as far as I'm aware, um, high-speed dubbing. Um, but anyway, I hope that you um, enjoyed this uh, short review and test, and I will switch off now and play back and see what it sounds like. Well, there you are, folks. I must say, I'm very, very impressed with that because... I can definitely tell that that is a C bias recording. Interestingly, I don't see a beat cut switch on the machine anywhere, but certainly um, I'm definitely pretty sure it is not DC bias because there would have been a lot of hissing, you know, in that recording. So I'm very, very happy indeed with this little unit and it all works very, very well. It has been obviously well preserved and looked after. And of course you've got your carrying handle there as well, which moves um, up and down. And um, when I was going to buy this unit, I had a look on YouTube to see if there was any reviews and couldn't find any at all really of this unit. So I thought I would do one myself to let you hear uh, what it sounds like. And um, I don't think I have much more um, else to say. So there's no point really in kind of rambling on. Um, I will certainly be keeping this um, in my collection um, on the shelf. And uh, I'll maybe give the heads a bit of a clean and demagnetize them um, as well. So thank you very much, folks, for watching. Uh, take care whatever you're doing, stay safe and stay well and it's goodbye from me.